Hey everybody, it's Coach Alicia and it's time for the Angel of the Day. Today's Angel is one of my favorites. I know I say that about all of them, but this one really is. Aha! Aha is my favorite because if you ever lose anything, just say to yourself, I believe this is the one, right? Uh, need of patience, getting work done. I think this is one of the ones. Oh, and you need to know something. Aha! That's all you need to remember. Aha! Just pretend that, that, and that will bring to your mind this beautiful angel. So when you need to learn the truth, just say aha to yourself. And anyway, for more information, please go to aliciabaza.com where you can find all about these angels and more. And it will lead you right to the angel page where you can pick and choose which, which will serve you best. Some people need to have the angel deck and that is available to you. And some people are starting to really like think about, I think I want to be an angel guide. So yay. So if you're thinking about any of those things, or if you just want to know your angels, just go to aliciabaza.com and, and you'll find all that out. So let's dive into today's angels. Angel. Today is Aha. Aha is angel number seven, the seraphim, the angel of peace and patience. Sorry, patience and peace. Because when you have patience, you have peace. Definitely for sure. This is the guardian angel of those born between April 21st and April 25th. So if you have a birthday during that time, amazing. This is your guardian angel. Now, if you have a birthday that's listed on the other side, um, and those days are January 8th, March 26th, June 6th, and today, August 17th or October 28th, this angel is your ruling day angel why it rules over your birthday so let's dive into this beautiful angel and see about it for how it's going to be relevant in your life today august 17th 2022 you are spiritually grounded you are a dreamer with foresight you are both book smart and street smart <clears throat> that is so important because when a person is heavily book smart they don't have the street smarts a lot of times and they'll do stupid things like let the door fall on your face as you're walking into the into the estab an establishment. But here, you have both of those things. And that is a really great combination. That helps you move forward in life because you're smart. Okay, you are a superhero. Not only are you smart, book smart, and smart smart, and like street smart, you are a superhero. So yay, amazing, fantastic. Wear that, own it. Walk with your chest puffed forward. Walk forward knowing that you are a superhero. Superhero. With an ability to take risks that others would not. Now, do you think about that? Think about like, oh yeah, there was this one day when, yeah, you did it. You do it. So congratulations. That's awesome. You are patient and need to speak, seek the truth. With you, oh, sorry. You help others find their truth, no matter how long it takes. So, on the flip side, someone may seem to see you as a little bit too persistent, but just know in, in the peace of your heart that you know what you know, because you know, and let them go. Sometimes you got to let those people go. So if there's somebody in your life right now who you are trying to help with all your heart, with, you know, authentically you, and they are not receiving it, sometimes it's time to just let it go. So if that's the case for you, please do that. So below that, we have the Christian symbol, the ichthys, with my beautiful best friend, Jesus, Yeshua, in there. And he has dominion over these amazing angels. So let's look at the psalm, Psalm 103, 8. And I'm going to take my handy-dandy angel chart, which is amazing. And you get this chart for free when you join my angel masterclass. So we're going to go to Aha'a, the seventh name of God. We're going to slide over to the Psalm. Now, what ha watch, hap what happens when watch what happens when I click on the Psalm. There's a little link there, and you click on the link, and voila, the verse appears before your very eyes. The verse is, the Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. So why is this relevant? This is relevant because this is the angel of patience. So this is going to reflect the patience of God. And a lot of times there's an easy um, understanding of where it comes from and how it relates to this angel, but this one's super simple. Okay, so let's flip over to this side and go to the pronunciation. You love people saying your name, right? You love people you're saying your name correctly. The way to say this name is Aha'a. 
aha. So you can just think of aha, and you kind of are saying the name of the angel. It's the intention behind what you're saying. So if you say that, if I'm going to take that aha and move it to aha, then that's going to help me realize truths. Okay. So this is the angel. When you meditate on the name of God, aha, you help, it helps you to know the truth. If you need to solve a problem or a need of patience. So somebody is great in your nerves. If somebody's really trying your patience, just say, ah, oh, aha. <clears throat> Help me here. Seventh name of God. Aha. Ah. <laughs> to have patience. Um, okay. God tasks Aha ah with the power to know the truth. She helps us to accomplish difficult tasks and discern the truth in any situation. So again, please use this angel to discern the truth. Ask the name of God, the seventh name of God, Aha ah, to help you discern the truth. If you're wondering, don't have to call on this beautiful angel and it will that this beautiful angel it's a female energy is she wants to help you to receive the truth now the male remember is giving and the female is receiving so she wants you to bring that truth in she's helping you to bring it in she's helping you to receive okay so that's that female energy okay aha helps us to study and get our work done beautiful she helps rectify mistakes made by the media. So if you're trying to discern something that you're hearing in the media and you, you get this gut feeling and you're not sure, this is the name of the of God that you want to call on. Aha, to help discern, is this really right? I heard something about uh, someone who passed away recently and there were weird circumstances and I did not agree with what it did not feel feel in my body it's correct but when i heard somebody else speaking the truth oh boy did that resonate with me right right quick not all of us have that discernment and i don't always have it all the time for everything but at this point i did so call on the seventh name of god aha to help with discernment okay she helps rectify mistakes call on her if you need computer help oh my gosh aha helps us with computers so many of us do have computer issues. So again, call on this beautiful name of God. Aha ah means the patient God. So this is all the information I have for you today. Thank you so much for staying and hanging out with me. I appreciate you. Again, please follow, like, subscribe, do all the things, please. Um, I love being here with you guys every single day, sharing the angels. I appreciate you. And if you want to be part of my angel army, I am so excited to, with open arms, welcome you to be a part of us. And um, you can find all that information at the website above. Talk to you soon. Bye.